I ruptured my spleen playing basketball when I was 15 years old. I, I ruptured one of my playing major, basketball. Yeah, my major internal organs. How'd you do that? That shouldn't happen if yeah. you're 15. I was at the top of the key. <clears throat> I finally got the ball. I was, I was to, as Logan. <laughs> as, the reference. I was as, in the paint, right? <laughs> as Logan would always say, he's too big to be moving like that, you know. And I, I, and at this moment, I was like, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive hard and I'm gonna go for the layup. And I went and I was driving, and this kid TJ saw me driving to the hole, and he couldn't break away from his other defense to to block me from going for the layup. So he just stuck his foot out he thought that was the right answer oh, and so i it, classic street ball move yeah. you just trip the motherfucker when they're going for the layup and i went and i went to jump up and i got elevated and i literally went like a domino <laughs> straight down to the ground and i just remember hitting the ground full bore with like my abdomen and for a second it was it was that same kind of moment <laughs> like, like everything kind of like gets wide around you and you have just like that second and I got back up and somebody passed me the ball and I was like, I, I started to dribble again at the top of the key. I don't know why I kept getting the ball at the top of the key. I'm not a fucking point guard. I'm six foot three. What the fuck was I doing? <laughs> but I was like, <gasps> and they were like, yo, are you good? And I was like, I'm going down for a second inside. And I walked inside to my friend TJ's house. No one was home. And I laid down in the bed for a second. And it was like a, it was like a, a, a warm spring day. And I just remember the, the drapes were like blowing in the breeze. <laughs> What a vivid picture. Oh, I remember it really well. And I was laying there, and all of a sudden, I, I literally closed my eyes for half a second. I opened them, and they were all just staring, standing around me, staring at me like this. Staring at me like I was looking at five of my friends staring at me with their mouths open. They, they go, you're, Mike, you're blue. You're blue. You, have, you are blue. Like, we have to do something. And so I called my dad. Why isn't anybody else doing anything? I don't know. Because because I know honesty, bro, this was a different time. I, I remember when I fractured my skull on the skiing hill and my brains were leaking out of my head. They were like, yo, can you get down to the bottom of the hill? Can you still ski? Like, it was a different time. There was none of this fucking bullshit. Like, oh, George slipped kicking a ball. Like, it was like, yo, put your brain back in your head and ski, dude. You, My dad paid $65 for the Killington lift ticket. You're going to finish this fucking day. But it was a different time, so so I called my dad. I'm like, Dad, can you bring me to the hospital, please? And he comes and picks me up. And this was like the 50th time he had to pick me up for some dumb shit. Sometimes I would call him, my hand arm would be hanging off. She's <laughs> like, what the fuck is this shit now? Bro, he acts like, yo, he's Co only 10 years older no, than me. Oh, <laughs> it, was, it was a different time. Because you guys give me so much shit, so I like to play with it. <laughs> so, he dri so he drives me to the hospital. And they're like, I'm like, dude, I, I'm, I'm in so much pain at this point. And they're like, we, well, like, what's wrong with him? Like, does he, you know, what the, did he break ribs? Or like, he probably broke some ribs. But here, drink six gallons of this brown liquid. It was this dye. It was dye. So I drank it. They did a CAT scan and they go, they come back in and they go, uh, we actually have some bad news. Uh, my mom had come at that point. She goes, your son, I wouldn't, I ruptured wouldn't be, your son obliterated his spleen. It doesn't <laughs> exist anymore. The internal organ has burst completely and he has lost one third of his, in, of his blood into his stomach. Oh. And a nurse, a nurse walks in and she goes, honey, honey, how, how, how much pain are you in right now? And I was like, a, a thousand. And she's like, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something that you're not really going to like to hear right now, um, but we have to do it anyways. And she, she pulls this lube out and starts lubing up a tube. Like this. This is like my worst nightmare. And right I'm now. like, where the fuck is that tube going? And I'm and I'm sitting there bleeding out. You go, you know, like and I'm I'm no 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 no. <laughs> All right, doc. <laughs> I've been here before. <laughs> I'm sitting there bleeding out. I don't need the lube. Just stick it in. <laughs> no, I was only 15, so I hadn't had any booty fingers yet. And she comes over and she takes the tube and she starts feeding it into my nose. <gasps> Uh, while I'm wide awake and it goes in my nose I feel it turn in the top and then it goes down my throat into my stomach and I'm just sitting there with a and my mom's watching on and they're all fucking I'm sorry it's gotten quite dark they're all crying and like screaming why are you feeding a tube to my son while he's still fucking awake through his nose and she hits a button and it goes and I see this brown liquid blood and fucking uh, organic organ fluids are coming out of this tube and filling a <laughs> vial. Organic, organic <laughs> <laughs> organ fluids. Anyways, long story short, yo, we got to go in there. We're going to cut in a hole down the center of your body and we're going to rip your dilapidated, fucked up spleen out of that orifice that we create. This is all from a guy tripping? Yeah. Where, where is it now? Where is like that guy? I don't know. I'd like to put it in some epoxy. I don't know. And, 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 and it only got worse from there. They... they 
They took it out. They sewed me back up. No spleen. They took care of all the internal bleeding, whatever. Two weeks later, I'm sitting on the toilet just having a shit, like a normal night shit. I probably had some Wendy's you earlier that British, night. dude? Bro. What do you mean? Having, having a shit. Having, having, having a shit. Having a shit. <laughs> no turds are coming out. I, and I realized, I thought about, I'm like, I haven't shit in like three, four days. What the fuck's going on? My intestines, this is a common relapse after you remove one organ, tangled into a full knot. My intestines were knotted. So nothing was feeding through. So I go back to the fucking hospital. Double knot, triple knot. I go back to the hospital and the doctor goes, ah, we're going we're gonna to have to sit. We're going to have to go back in for surgery. Opens the shit back up, untangles my my intestines <laughs> Yo, this and, tells, sucks. and tells my mom when we come out he goes the wound was so fresh that i didn't even need a knife to open it i just ripped it open with my thumbs this is no, this is he said that this is horrible horrifying <laughs>